Hello, party people. I just got to share. I'll be there in just a second. Now I went and did it. I got rid of my camera. That's not good. I think I got myself together. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Let me see where I'm at here. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Let's make sure all this business is working. It is working. Let's get this under control. today it's been it's been a morning already good morning Stacia hello Rosanna good morning Mary good morning Dorothy good morning Becky giggles is in the house Donna dragon slayers here we're all here hi hi Jenny hi Mary happy gig hi Anita Prudence good morning all right so today, let's see if I have any announcements. What day is it? Today is Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow, we're gonna be taking down the FOC, the Found Objects Challenge. Um, so if you wanna get in on ducky races, you might wanna grab up a Found Objects Challenge bag uh, by tomorrow. I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll probably take them down. I don't know, I'll take them down sometime this week. Preferably tomorrow, but maybe I'll leave them up till Friday. Some people have asked to leave them till Friday. We'll see what happens. But they're coming down this week. The reason that we do that is we only make them available for this week from the launch to this, the end of this week or whatever, so that you have time to get them, which is going to take days to get them, you know, in the mail. And then you're going to have time to work with it. So that's why we do that. People always are asking me, like, why are you doing that? That's why we do it. So uh, you want to make sure that you get yours, you have time to work with it, you don't feel pressured, so we take them down so you don't have the opportunity to give yourself any pressure. <laughs> My FOC came yesterday. Oh, lovely. 
We love that for you. I hope it was lovely. Um, what else do I got going on today? Um, so I'm going to be shipping today. I seen there was about, I don't know, eight orders that came in. So if you guys made purchases from the Claim Lab Beat sale yesterday, uh, they are all posted and you can run over there and grab up your custom order and whatever. Um, I'm going to be shipping today pretty much all day. Shannon is going to be doing posts and photo editing to get our stuff left up on the website because she's not going to be here Thursday. So we got to. Oh my. Hello, sir. Well, you have raccoon tail. <laughs> Mr. Budson. It's something else. You guys, I don't know. I got this new shampoo and I, I feel itchy. Uh, uh. <laughs> I got my bargain bead box yesterday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that's coming. I'm sure mine will probably be here. I don't know. I usually get mine the day after Rosanna. Did you get yours? I just paid for mine. Oh, good job, Rosanna. Did you get your bargain bead box, Rosanna? Um, so that'll be coming. And then when that comes, I <laughs> got yours yesterday. Oh, good. Well, that probably means mine will be here today. I was just going to say, when that comes, that switches the whole schedule. So we want to get that up and out of here and start videos as soon as possible with that. So if it does come today, then I will be videoing today. I will still have to ship today, but I will also be videoing today. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> I did get a notification that the Sam's bead box for the members uh, is on its way. They've shipped it. So uh, that was part of our goal of meeting the getting the 30 members in 30 days. So I ordered it. They've shipped it. Uh, when they ship it, we're going to open it on the members only live on um, Wednesday, whatever, whatever Wednesday it is. And then... Um, that's what we're going to do. I might make that live public for everybody just so everybody can see it just because it's fun. But the members will uh, get an opportunity to win that box um, from Sam. So we're going to have a ducky race for that. Um, what else was I going to say about that? Oh, I was going to say that while Jefferson was here over the weekend, um, I had him look at the, the situation with the notifications for members. So in true Jefferson fashion, he has made me a step-by-step -step list of how to get live with the members and do it correctly. So as it turns out, I was not sharing to the community tab uh, for members and the members only community tab. And I guess I have to do that in order for it to, to work. So uh, anyway, he made me this list. There's a 21 steps to set up the live, but here we go. So just FYI, I was wrong. You guys were right. We've got a list. We have a plan. So you're not going to miss anything. So we got that going on. It's even laminated and hanging over here on the calendar. Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, so no, no worries about that if you've been missing member lives. I know there was a lot of people saying, oh, I missed the members live. I didn't get the members notification. It was my fault. I, would, I didn't share it to the right place. So uh, anyway, we got that in place. We're going to be good to go on that. And we want to make sure that we got that going, especially if we're going to be doing, giving away the Sam's box or whatever. I would assume we'll probably do it next Wednesday. I mean, unless it gets here by tomorrow, but I don't think it will. I don't know. Good morning. Did an unboxing this morning. It will be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, see, Rosanna's already on it. I have to wait till I get mine. <laughs> I assume it'll probably come today. Um, what else do I got going on? Yeah, ah, this shampoo. I don't think it's a no. It's Dove. I just bought it too. Oh, not to give it to Jeff. Jeff always smells really nice because he uses all my products that I can't use. I'm like, oh, I'll try it. And then I'm like, no, mm -mm, this isn't going to work. 
<laughs> I think that was happened to me yesterday too because uh, I was like coughing a lot towards the end of the sale and I'm like oh and then yesterday my eyes were itching it's from the sh the new shampoo that I got <clears throat> that's a that's a thing that happens I'm, a, I'm allergic to everything so anyway that's the goings on with that <laughs> I'm gonna bring this down a little bit I feel like I'm uh, reaching good morning it's like Christmas here at my house I know, I was just talking to Shannon this morning, which is why I was two minutes late. I was like, oh yeah, the bargain bead box is coming. I just got a notification from Sam's. Um, you know, like whatever, all these boxes. And the dollar bead box is already here. And I'm just like, there's too many boxes. It's too much. Because <laughs> they're all going to come at the same time. And then I'm going to be like, oh, I got to do a video. Try Pantene with rose water. Oh, anything flowers probably kill me. Uh -uh. No, it's pretty sad around here. That's why we don't have like flowers in the house or like I'm have to use all of like the, the vinegar, baking soda, cleaning supplies, anything with pine, pretty much wood and flowers is bad. Citrus is okay sometimes depending on what it is uh mostly citrus things but uh sometimes it's still bad and i was just talking to shannon this morning i told her we had a conversation about menopause when i was out at uh the arc i was talking to these ladies and uh these ladies were telling me oh yeah we never had any conversations about menopause and i said yeah i i said i have a list of things that nobody told me was going to happen by the time he turned like 30 35 that's interesting. And they said, oh, the list just goes on. And they were telling me. Anyway, <laughs> so I was telling Shannon this morning about this conversation that we had had. And they were saying all these crazy things. And I was like, what? So I said, when I go into menopause, I'm probably just going to die. Because, you know, I'm allergic to the sun. I'm allergic to sweating. I'm allergic to the heat. Anything that makes me hot, I just break out into hives all over my body. I'm probably going to just die. That's probably... <laughs> probably gonna be the end of me I don't know because they were talking about the hot flashes and the night sweats and I was like yeah 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 I'm gonna it's done I'm done <laughs> why were you talking about menopause well I was just uh, I was sitting with them and they were talking about menopause I didn't know these ladies they were uh, well one lady was fanning herself and then she said oh you know I got the hot flashes or whatever and then they just kicked off from there <laughs> so anyway I have urticaria if you guys don't know this if you're new here I have like chronic urticaria and um, we've talked about this a lot on the channel so I'm like allergic to pretty much everything and I get really bad hives and then they are so bad they like make my skin really puffy and they get like on the inside and then they like close my throat up and then um i die <laughs> i go into anaphylactic shock and so like anything like exercising outdoors anything hot anything cold water um you can look this all up on the internet anything that's really tight to my skin like underwear bands and sock bands bad it's like constant hives all the time and so the problem is, is I get really itchy and then I get really sick and I like throw up and I pass out and I faint and I do all these things because but anyway so I'm like oh yeah when that happens I'm probably just gonna that's gonna be the end of me I don't know <laughs> they said pumpkin seeds have great properties for all of what you were just mentioned <laughs> yeah um well that's why sometimes we have a Sometimes we have a lemongrass party. Um, so my cousin does lemongrass, but it's like essential oil stuff. And I have found that a lot of their products work for me that are not problematic. So to me, I'm like, this is a good brand. Let me share with friends because I'm allergic to literally everything. So I'm like, oh, um, since that brand works for me, I sometimes we'll have a party like maybe around Christmas or something and if you have allergies or problems like a lot of times it'll work for you too so 
pumpkin seeds. I call hot flashes my personal summer. <laughs> oh, at least you're going with a good attitude, Dorothy. Seven years ago, I have been struggling with it too. There's a heart in my way. I can't see what the diagnosis was. Anyways, so I'm sure you were like, oh, this is a lovely conversation for the morning. But like I said, real live beating over here at Thunder House. Oh, also, update. I talked to Cindy. If you don't know, Cindy's my event planner. Cindy Rosales. Um, she's my friend from high school. All my friends from high school are pretty, pretty bomb. I called her up, told her about Candyland Christmas. I was like, hey, man, here's the thing. I want to turn my house into Candyland. How about you come up in November and do that for me? <laughs> and she was like, sure. How, how long is this going to take? A week? I can come for a week. I was like, okay, great. So she's going to come and she's going to help me. When I say help me, we're going to shop and she's probably going to like make the stuff. So if you don't know, my friend Cindy is, she's the crafty lady. I don't think her Etsy store is open right now because she's like on a break or whatever. But she's the one who makes all the wreaths and things. So she's like crafty crafts, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like craft, crafty things? I don't know. Anyway. So she makes like wreaths and she makes like a home decor and like, you know, little things out of jars and like different stuff like that. So I called in reinforcements and I was like, who can turn this house into Candyland? And I thought, well, if anybody could do it, it'd be Cindy. So I called her and she said, sure. So she'll be here November 1st. Right after her, Hall her Halloween haunted house extravaganza she has every year to come and help me make Candyland. So I'm super excited. Because you know what? You guys know I never get it done by myself. When it's up to me, I just never get it done. I'm just like, oh, I have all these ideas and I can't do it. I'm tired. C-I-U. Oh. Teaspoon of honey every day. Oh, yeah, I probably need that. Good morning, Rands. Good morning, Jefferson. I hope your work is going well today. <laughs> Donna, good morning. Just stopping in to leave the office. Okay, have a wonderful day. We're gonna get going on our patina painting. I love your house. Thanks. Uh, so I'm gonna turn the whole main floor into Candyland so you guys will be able to see it as it's you know coming to be. So the plan is, is that, well, I just have ideas. Cindy's gonna take care of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm the idea. I'm the idea person in this scenario. I never get to be the idea person. I'm always the person who has to carry out the ideas. This is great. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna hang these great big candies from the ceiling. I wanna make their fake candies, obviously. You make them out of like, I don't know, crafty tissue paper, whatever. And uh, you hang them all from the ceiling. And then I wanna put real candy on like, uh, streamers or like um, garland or whatever and hang that all about and then I want to make a gingerbread house for the cats like you know like you would have for the kids you know they have those little cardboard houses they look like gingerbread house for the children to play in at Christmas well we're gonna have Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Bunsen Winters Christmas gingerbread house and all the things so I'm super excited <laughs> and I told Cindy yeah you can you just you have this whole main floor you just do what you want <laughs> so yeah what town are you in i'm in cambridge minnesota hi i love your house thank you so much um anyway let's get on into this we're gonna do patina painting i've just been like randomly talking it happens good morning angel so i'm gonna shake 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 the patina paints Highly recommend this box, by the way, this Tim Holtz box. If you, it's actually for alcohol inks, but the patina paints fit in there because then you can shake them all at one time. I used to store my patina paints just all over the place, and then I was trying to like be better and more organized. So I got this tin, and it was they were buy one get one half off at the at the at the Michaels. I think they were only nine ninety nine. So I got two. Not I got one like this, and then one for like my little inky pads or whatever. I did shake them a little bit this morning, so I'm not. And then I put them upside down so it doesn't all sink to the bottom. Let's we'll see if that helps. All right, let's get on into it here. I'm gonna 
gonna zoom it out a little bit. Why is this not zooming out? What is happening? Hello? What's going on? Is that as far as it goes? I don't even believe you, phone. I think you're lying to me, but okay. We'll try it. <laughs> I think my phone is telling fibs over here. So, <clears throat> this is the bag of business that I, oh, maybe it is. Maybe I was just not seeing the whole picture. This is the bag of business that I have going on for this week, although now that we're getting all this other business from like the bargain beef box and the whatever, who knows how that's going to go. Hello. So these little elephants here. So we we have these elephants available on the website. We sold them in the show the other day. So well, it was like two weeks ago. So the reason that I'm trying to use some of these items is because people always ask me like, "Oh, are you gonna use that?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I can." So we got a patina paint those. I got, I saved out how many? Four of them. So well, here's another. Okay. And then these are my brass pendants. These are my animals. These are quartz from the other week. I just thought they were cool. Uh, oh yeah, we posted, we posted the, uh, the snake bones up. These are going to be good for Halloween. I wonder what I'm gonna throw some tea on these and see if I see if I can um, give them a patina that way. What else we got? Oh, it's my little jersey pendant I bought out at the store. I gotta put a. It came like this. I gotta put a uh, a veil on the back of that. I should have brought that with me. We have these. I don't know if I'm gonna paint those or not. I don't know what this was from but it's i don't even think this is mine this must be something somebody didn't want it's yellow whatever let's paint that that'll be fun Our crystals more brass pendants these will be fun to paint come here you what's this I got my goodies yesterday, and I love everything. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, this one is broken. Or something happened. Let's hook it this way. I'll paint it. It's fine. Okay, is that everything? Let me look over here. I always have stuff. Just bags of stuff. Oh, this is my stuff from this week. Whoa. Those are already painted. No, I think, I think that's everything. I got patina paint this and now it's not here and I don't know what it is. Do you guys know what it is? <laughs> is there a chance you might know what it is? I guess we're about to find out. Alright, I'm going to start out with my elephant here. So literally, um, <clears throat> I did a poll on uh, where was that? YouTube for the members. And I asked about what kind of stuff you want to see. And thus far, people have been saying they want to know about, um, <clears throat> they want to know about 
sellable, like they want to see me make more like of my sellable items for like craft shows or I'm doing this wholesale order right now. I post a picture of that in the YouTube, in the Facebook group. And um, so anyways, this is kind of one of the steps that I do uh, on a certain day. I'll just do like all the patina painting for the things that I want to use before I, you know, get them ready to use. So that I'm only having to drag everything out one time and just do a batch of stuff. And that's how we end up with these type of things here. So these are the pendants that we sold in the, you know, in the show the other day. These are just parts and pieces that I have painted when I had extra paint or they were on like a specific paint day. But this is before obviously the step of wrapping them or figuring out what I want to do with them or whatever, you know. So this is kind of how it starts. I get stuff that I want to want to paint and then I have a painting day. Moral story. Yeah, here's all my paints. I don't think this is all of them. I think I have to get another tin. But yeah, it's very uh, helpful, this little tin. And we're gonna pick some colors. I wanna do contrasting colors. So let's do orange, that's carnelian. Rust and teal, that would be cool. Deep turquoise. With pink, purple, let's do purple. Amethyst. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. Let's put a little black in there. I need to be a little bit darker. What color is this one? This one's also amethyst. Alright, let's try that. Where did you get the tin? Um, I ordered the tin on um, from Michael's. They were buy one, get one 50% off. This one I can tell. It's not mixed up very good. The rest of them are pretty good. Alright. So, let's take a look at our elephant. So this elephant is wearing a blanket. You can't see the elephant. Let me zoom in. This elephant is wearing a blanket. It also looks like the elephant is wearing a headscarf of some kind. It's got little dots. So. Do I want to paint the whole elephant or do I want to leave him silver? Maybe I'll leave him silver. Let's start with the blanket. about patina paints is that you can paint over what you already painted so you don't have to worry about like skipping areas you can just go over it when you're ready to go over it with a different color rust color. Pretty snazzy. 
sometimes your coffee makes you say nom 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 nom. <laughs> is that the old patina or the ultimate paint? This is the old patina. I do have ultimate paint, but I only have like, I don't know, six colors or whatever. And then I think I'm gonna get a hold of his. He's got the little dots. Maybe they're kind of like henna dots. Let me try the old trick here with the dot thing. working on his ear very good but up here was very good We can switch to a new color. brushes because sometimes I'm lazy and I don't wash them out appropriately <laughs> and so I generally buy a bunch at the Dollar Tree and I gotta get some more because this one's too fat for all this little detail work well, I'll try it looking pretty good. I gotta ask Shannon for some more paintbrushes. Hold on.
because I'm out. Gotta go to the store. <laughs> she says, you gotta go to the store. You're out of little papers. Except for this one. So, we'll see. Hey, oh, I wonder if that would work. Mr. Bunsen, you may not have my feathers, sir. This one's, uh, yeah, this one's bad. Guess we'll try this one. I had to go pick up my truck. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't like the color of this. I have two bottles of it. It's amethyst. It says it's amethyst, but it's not very dark. I prefer a darker one. So I'm gonna put a little smidge of black and pray that it doesn't all turn black. <laughs> no Shannon for you. Okay, now I got this little brush. I got one thing. Now I can do a little bit of detail work here. Sorry, is my head in the way? I'll go get down here so I can see. So, Pantanese kind of is pretty fun for me because then you just make them whatever color. Oh, screw that up. But, I'll put some dots on it, it'll be fine. Because you can make them whatever color you want to. So it's always fun to do that. And let's see. Let's put a little purple border on our rug here. But also they have like these little grooves and stuff. So it makes it really easy to do the painting and like bring out the details of the, of the pendant. And it makes it really, it's like coloring. It's really fun. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do pink. Oh, I didn't get any pink. I need pink. Fire opal. This one looks well loved. Maybe not shut all the way. Mine's broke. It's broke. We use a different one. I have two fire opals. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, Jeff, not my Jeff, B. Jeff asked me if I wanted to buy out his lot of uh, alcohol links. He says he's getting out. If anybody needs alcohol ink. I would assume if he's getting out of alcohol ink, he might also be getting out of patina paint. We'll see what happens. Orange and teal. Yeah, super fun. Uh, do I want to do a little more? Mm, maybe on the no, i make him look like Dumbo. I don't want him to look like Dumbo. Mm, well, I think it's time to stop. It's time to stop. What's the top of his head look like? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with him for right now because I got wet paint. So I'm just going to move on to the next one because this is how you do it. Can you use alcohol ink the same way of what you're doing now? Um, so alcohol ink, yes, you can use it on pendants. Um, but it's a, it's a different medium. So there's kind of a certain way to work with it. Um, And it gives a little different effect. It's not bright like this. It's not. Um, it's not like it's. It's transparent. I can show you. I got some alcohol ink stuff over here, and it's harder to control. But you can definitely get different effects with it. Ombre blanket here. And this guy. Would be interesting with alcohol inks as well. Yeah. I love alcohol ink. Now, a fun thing I was considering about alcohol ink when we do our next paint job is alloy i don't know if alloy will stick to metal i'm sure it would um so okay so here is a picture that our my daughter did with alcohol ink. So Jordan made this one. So you can see how it looks like marbly. And then she used um, press on stickers and she did that looks like embossing, stamping. So right here, you can see this gold portion, that's alloy. All the gold inside of the marbling is alloy. So alloy would stick to alcohol ink, but not um, patina paint. <clears throat> and so here's another one um, with alcohol ink. So you can see it, this is more of like a dripping method and we have used alcohol ink on metal on this channel in past lives. Um, and so this again is alloy that's dripped through there. It's like the gold shimmery stuff, which makes it look cool. And here's the last one. This is one that I made and it's all a lot of alcohol ink. And the cool thing is, is that alcohol ink reacts with alcohol ink. So if you put more alcohol ink on top of it, or if you just use regular rubbing alcohol, it takes it off. So I did like a, you can see these white spots. So I did the whole background and then I took a stencil and took it off. So it makes it look like that. 
So that's the alcoholing situation. Hello. I'm pretty sure I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so on metal, so those are on alcoholing paper, right? So here's one that's been alcohol inked on metal, which you guys saw this yesterday. Let's zoom in. It's kind of hard to see with the lights. But it's more of an opaque color. It's not as intense as these colors, right? It's more, it's harder to control because you basically got to drip it. You can paint it on, brush it on, but it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do with that effect. But it does, it is permanent. So, there you go. I sell alcohol inks online all the time. Alcohol ink charms and stuff. This is a patina painted one. Prudence has donated $4.99 through Super Chat and is now the life of the party. Thank you so much, Prudence. We appreciate your donation. <laughs> we will use it to buy coffee. Coffee's getting kind of outrageous, y'all. All right, back to this guy. Okay, so now we're in warm colors. What goes with pink? You're pooping? Who's pooping? That picture was beautiful. Oh, thanks, Debra. Yeah, I keep these on, so these are kind of fun pictures. They're, um, so I did this one, and then Jordan did this one, and then I just bought these little frames at the Dollar Tree. And these um, papers that I buy, they, they're already cut to the size, so they fit perfect in there. It's like a five by seven. And then I have gold and black frames, so then I set them up in front of my plates. It's kind of cool. We love that for us. We love that for us. More translucent, not opaque. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it, lady. What goes with pink? Orange? Pink goes with orange. Uh, what else goes with pink? What is opposite pink? Blue? No, that can't be right. Is it blue? I've never heard of alloy pink. Pink and orange. Pink and orange? Well, we have orange already ready to go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with this guy? Lit? Lit? Now I'll leave that guy alone. Move on to the next one for the moment being because I got orange hair. See how this works? <laughs> Maybe you can show us all how you alcohol ink pictures. I am very interested in that. Oh yeah, I could show you. It's kind of a process. The reason I don't show you is because I do it downstairs, but um, I can probably set it up so that I can get it to work. So that I can video it because it's like I'm a wreck you think this is bad you should see me when I'm doing stuff like that I'm I'm there's stuff piled on tables I'm all over the place but we'll figure it out 
fill that a little bit of paint here. Let's see. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> Still got more paint, just a smidge, just a smidge of paint. See, this is how it happens. <laughs> Gray screen here. Uh oh, you're back. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I disappear. Sometimes I'm just like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't do it on purpose. I was taking this almost dry patina paint, going over the top of this filigree to just make bring it out more. It doesn't have to be fully coated. It just has to bring out the details of the piece. And not to worry, if you get too much in one spot, you just take it off with your little sanding block. So now it's dry, didn't waste any. That's part of the process. <laughs> Where do you get your paint? I have tried to find Hobby Lobby, but not sure what kind to buy. Okay, so this paint that I'm using right now is patina paint. This is the old patina paint, it's not the new ultimate paint. I'll show you the jar. It looks like this, it says patina paint on it. For all metals it's from ranger here's the thing ranger doesn't make it anymore they have other um i think they have other companies that make a similar product but um these are all just old ones that i've had and i i literally have like i know 30 bottles fit in this tin so i have these um and like i'll probably literally have them for the rest of my life like a, a little dab goes a long way as you can see um but for those of you who maybe don't have any, um, they do sell them at Taylor's Falls. These ones all came from Taylor's Falls. I, as you can see, they're $6.99 each um, for the most part. Sometimes they're more expensive. Um, but in my opinion, they're totally worth it, even if you got like a few colors. Uh, but I do know that you can order them. Um, I've seen them on Amazon. Um, let's take a look. I can share. I've seen them on Amazon um, in these packs of three. Now, I don't know if they're still available. Where's my mouse? There it is. Excuse me. There it is. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I, what it's going to show me here on my Amazon account. We gotta be more specific. Look, I'm gonna get these paint markers for my journal. Oh, you can't see. Patina paint. Uh, there we go. So these ones are from Vintage. And, well, they say Ranger, Vintage, Patina, Lottie Dottie. So here they are, set of three. These are the three colors. So originally they used to sell these at Hobby Lobby um, through Vintage, but Ranger made them. So I don't know if you guys understand that whole thing. So Vintage was the person they were like collaborating with, but they were made by Ranger. Um, I know Ranger doesn't make them anymore and they stopped making them um, during 2020 for reasons i don't know if they couldn't get the stuff or whatever um but of course they're still floating around on the internet so here are some they are 24.99 so what's that divided by three 25 divided by three is what 
I don't know. I don't have a thing. <laughs> so whatever that breaks down to be individually as a bottle, they have them listed inappropriately. Right here it says alcohol. Anyway, I will share this. Uh, let's see. Let's share it. Text and image. There we go. Copy this. Copy. Now we'll head over here to the Facebook. And we'll drop it in here. Paste. It didn't. It didn't go. Hold on. One moment, please. No, that's not what I want to do. Text. Generate. Generating. There we go. So there, those are in there. It breaks down to eight thirty three per bottle, according to Rosanna. Yeah, so these are actually cheaper if you get them from Taylor's Falls. Um, I know that Taylor's Falls has um, some limited colors left because, like I said, they're not making these anymore. Um, but I could grab some up if you guys want some. So there's that. Um, I don't know that they have other colors. When I looked on here originally for them, because obviously people are still going to have them. See, these ones are alcohol inks. These are by Ranger, and I think these are for the Tim Holtz line. These are alcoholics, so that's different than the patina paints. You can use both on metal, but this is different. Patina paints are originally created for metal specifically. Alcoholics were not necessarily created for metal, but you can use them on metal. Yeah, so anyway, um, that's the goings on with that. Beep, beep. I would rather give you and be Jeff the business than Amazon. Thank you, Mary. We appreciate you. Yeah, you should get some. Eight and some change. Yeah. So these are the ones that I use. Now, I will say the reason that they stopped using them, and we have on this channel, some of you were around for that. Um, we did test the ultimate paints versus these paints. Uh, the, new, the new ones that they're making from... Vintage? Is Vintage making them or are they still being made by Ranger? I'm not sure. Anyway, the reason they stopped making these ones is because there was an ingredient that came from overseas that they could not get during, you know, 2020. Right? So they stopped making, they discontinued making these and now they make a different one. Now, the different one that they made, what we found is that there's pros and cons to each. So I prefer the old school just because I have them I don't want to buy new ones. These are more um, color saturated than the new ones. And they dry faster because I'm super impatient. But that's also a, that's also a con. So when you are working with this, it's going to dry up if you're not quick about it. If you're taking time to make decisions and whatever, you're going to waste products, which means you're going to waste money. So that's a drawback of this. Uh, the ultimate paint takes longer to dry, like 10 minutes, depending on how thick you're using it. Like 10 minutes it takes to dry. I don't have that much time. It's also not as color saturated as these ones, but it does work. It is permanent. They're both permanent for jewelry making um, and on metals. And I don't know. I, I tried the others. I didn't really have a problem with it. I have the woodland colors. They come in like a color, I don't know, colorway. I have the woodland colors, so they're not like super bright colors like this, which is something I prefer, as you guys know. Um, but I have used them, and they do work. They're watery. They're more watery than these ones. Um, I don't like that. That's just my personal opinions, allegedly. If that's all they're going to make, then of course, when I'm done with these, I will use them. <laughs> the supply lines crapped out during COVID. Yeah. Um, so they're not bad. If that's all you can get is the, they call those the ultimate paints. If that's all you can get, that's fine. 
The thing I really like about this is, as a jewelry person, you can do things like this. You can customize your things. You can make them more um, handmade looking versus like, you know, whatever. And y'all know I don't mess with resin because I'm scared. So this is a good option for me. Also, I like these because not only do they work on metal, they work on anything, pretty much anything. I use them on leather when I'm painting leather, like for earrings or for, uh, if I'm doing those little leather coin purses or whatever, I use them on leather, I use them on metal, I use them, you can use them on, I wouldn't suggest using them on plastic. It doesn't work very good on plastic. Uh, but I use them on wood. I use them on all kinds of things. And so to have one little bottle of stuff that I can use on everything, I'm in. I'm in. I love that. Love that for me. I do not use these on paper. That would just be a waste of time. You could just use acrylic paints or, you know, whatever kind of other kind of paints you want to do. Oh, let me share with you my paint markers I'm trying to get. Just fun, because we got time like that. And then I'm going to jump off here. Where'd they go? Oh, they're in my cart. I'm, I have them in my cart, but I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if I really want them because they're $30. Okay. Okay, next. So these paint markers are not oil-based paint. Okay, if you don't know about paint, here's the thing. These are acrylic-based paints. The reason that I want them, every, every art medium has its place, just as beads have its place, right? So I'm getting ready to share these in the group on Facebook. So these are acrylic paint markers. Acrylic means that you can probably take it off with water, right? Um, it's, it's not supposed to be permanent. Um, Oil-based paints are gonna be more permanent than, than not. So um, I have oil-based paint markers. With oil-based oil paint markers, you can paint on anything and it'll be fine, right? Um, I have those. Melissa got them for me for my birthday. I've used them a few times. Uh, it's fine. I want the acrylic ones because of my journal. Um, in my journal, remember I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make this my new bead book. So I'm trying things to make sure that I'm gonna have when I need to do it. So here is an example of those Copic, Copic markers. These are like fake ones from, I don't know, where they're from China. They're alcohol-based markers, which is a bad idea to put in this book <clears throat> because it sinks through, right? So it sinks through, so you have to basically do the front and the back, and you gotta be careful because it's gonna show because it's alcohol based, right? So alcohol is gonna seep into the paper, even though this is the cardstock media, whatever paper. Okay, so then over here, the other day, I did this page, and this page I did with oil-based marker. So I cut it and all that. And it's really cool because it's really dark black, <clears throat> and it didn't go through the paper, which I like that, but I also don't need to be using oil-based markers for that because I could use acrylic-based markers for this and it would not also not go through there, or paint markers. Um, oil-based are more expensive. It smells bad, don't like that. You know, very sensitive with much, with all the stuff. And it takes longer to dry. Acrylic markers are gonna dry really fast. Oil-based, it's gonna take time to dry. And as you know, I'm impatient and I ain't got time for that. So. I am going to order these, which I shared. They're $30. We'll see. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if I'm really going to pull the trigger on that. I don't know if I am. But, uh, yeah. I also went to the thrift store the other day, and I got all of these really cool um, stencils. At the thrift store, they had like a whole baggie full of stencils. So I was going to order some of those cool stencils that I've seen on the, you know, on the Ranger website. They're kind of spendy. You get like four stencils for like 10 bucks. I was like, mm, or you get 35 stencils at thrift store for $4. So that's what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> I found them on Amazon, a bundle if 14, yeah. 
Yeah, so moral of the story is I will always love patina paints. You know, they, the thing, I think the reasoning behind the situation was not only that, but there is a drawbacks to patina paints in the fact that all of the stuff sinks to the bottom of the thing and you have to really, really shake it. You have to shake it. Like, I shake this whole box for like five minutes before I get online. Like, literally just like nonstop shaking it because there's a ball in there and if you don't get it shook up appropriately, it's not gonna work the way it should. My paint pens are acrylic, though they are made for rock painting. Hmm, fun. You have the best thrift stores. I know, which is another reason, I can't remember who it was who sent me that auction app. Anyway, the Whatnots app. And I think I might try it for my, my thrifting finds. So I watched a video on it. My the the understanding that I get about the auction app, whatever it's called, whatnots app, is like, okay, so you have some stuff you want to auction it off and you're live on the internet on this app. So you say, okay, I'm gonna auction off this patina paint bottle, la di da, and you can show it and do all the things, right? Okay, so in the comment section, people are making bids. So you start the bidding, it's like eBay. You start the bidding on your side and you say, okay, I'm gonna start it at a dollar. And so then they make bids, you're making bids on your phone or whatever. But the thing is, is that once you win the bid, in order to get into this app, you have to sign up with your name, your address and your payment information. So as soon as you win, it automatically takes the money from your card. And not only does it take the money, it pays the seller and then it sends the seller the invoice so it's already loaded into your, like our downstairs printer. So it, it'll it say like, here are your orders from whatnot. And you just print off all of your stuff and then you can just ship your stuff out right away. Um, and you don't have to wait for your money. You don't have to, you know, do any of this like posting things and stuff like that. So people had asked me, because I do have the best thrift stores ever in life, if, that, if I would share some of my thrift store finds in this app for crafting supplies. Um, Cause I get bomb crafting supplies. <laughs> um, and I said that I would look into it, but I don't know how many people would be interested in doing something like that. This would be completely separate of everything that we're doing now. You know, just, it'd be just be for fun. But it would be a way for me to make a little bit of cash and for you guys to get some cool, cheap thrifting stuff like I do. <laughs> Cause we love that. We love that for us. I'm gonna spend more money on beads, you know. <laughs> that is what I use them for, my hair breaths. Please smash the like button. Hello. Going to early lunch with the husband. Oh, we'll have a lovely time. Prudence says she likes this idea. Yeah. Maybe we could do it on, I don't know, some fun day. <laughs> I do it on some kind of day. I'd have to get the app and figure out how to work it. You know, there's always a there's always a thing. Also, before we go, I'm getting ready to go. But in other news, guess what I was doing? You know, I do this every I do this every when is it? It's about every four years or so. Three, four years. I just start planning me and Jeff's wedding. <laughs> My new wedding for the year is um, 702 Weddings in Las Vegas. Cause they're just gonna handle everything. We just show up. We don't even have to bring clothes. They're like, if you don't have clothes, don't worry, we have clothes for you. We'll send a girl to your room to do your makeup, give you a spray tan and all that. And all you gotta do is get in the limo that we, we put at the bottom of the hotel stairs for you and come on over. And then uh, we're gonna serve you dinner at the reception. We can, you get to pick a menu. And then you can have uh, cake. They're gonna they're gonna provide the cake, and it's good cake. We can get lemon cake. You know, it's my favorite cake. And uh, yeah, all you gotta do is show up. They bring the flowers. <laughs> you could pick a day, maybe once a month, that you can have craft stuff sales through T Thunder Horses in it, and we know we know ahead of time what day it is and then you don't have to deal with another app. 
Well, that's also true. That's also an option. I guess I never thought of that. Yeah, also an option. I guess I'd have to look at that. Well, the reason the app is kind of interesting is because I don't know, I guess I would have to look. I don't know how you like load it in there. I have to look at it. Um, because it takes me like after we're done doing the, doing the uh, sale, I, I go in and I do like the, you know, the invoices. I take a photo, I do the invoices I, and then I, I literally type them. Like I don't have a program. I just type them and it takes quite a few hours to get that done with and then to do the post and put it up online. So I would say on Mondays, I make anywhere between like 22 and 50 postings a day on that day. So for those of you at Etsy shops or if you're posting anywhere, could you imagine making 50, 22 to 50 posts in one day? <laughs> it's kind of a lot so I don't that's that is kind of one of the draws for the app is like you don't have to make the, the post it just like when these people sign in it just you sign in with your stuff already and then when you win it just does it for you it just it takes your uh, address and and makes a label a shipping label all I gotta do is print the shipping label which seems easy um, but I don't know. I guess a lot of people use it. They had a lot of videos online, lots of good reviews. So I don't know. I'll look into that. But also a good option is that we could do the craft show finds too. But then I would have to make those posts and put them up on my website, I guess. Maybe has had her coffee and wearing her thinking cap this morning. Mary. Oh, Marius. Yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because we got to go. I got things to do. I hope you're all having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day. I got to get down to the shipping center downstairs and get to shipping your orders out of here so we can make the post. Putting things on Etsy is a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it 50 times, Rosanna. <laughs> Shannon's going to do post today. Um, that's what she's doing. So she's posting our stuff that's left over from the sale that we just had. So she's going to do that today. And she'll, I think she's got 20 items, 15, maybe it's not 15. It's a couple of different ones. So that's what she'll do today while I'm shipping. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're all having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating today, beating, beating today. Do, do beating today. <laughs> <laughs> beating day and um i will see you tomorrow uh or i think that bargain bead box is gonna come today i think it's gonna come i think i'm gonna have to record videos today but i'm still gonna see you tomorrow morning for you know more things but i don't know what the things are gonna be because the mailman is kind of in charge of our schedule at this point <laughs> Joanne says alcohol inks. Yeah, alcohol inks are also in Walmart, I heard. <laughs> I'll be over here opening all my deliveries. Well, good job. Good luck with your Christmas, Dorothy. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely day. I appreciate you being here and spending time with me. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.